So in today's video, we're going to take a look at Vouchers Plus, a brand new Minecraft plugin made by the same developer as Daily Rewards Plus that will, of course, like the name might suggest, allow you to add vouchers to Minecraft. Now, how that exactly works and what this plugin has to offer is what I will be showing you today. So before we start, do make sure to smash that subscribe button. You would really help me out by doing that. You actually would. And thanks a lot to the developer of Vouchers Plus for sponsoring this video. So if after watching this video vouchers plus sounds interesting to you and you want to check it out for yourself there will of course be a link to its pick and mc page in the description do make sure to check it out and there's currently a 25 percent launch sale going on so if you want to check it out and you see this video before it is one week old then the 25 percent sale is still ongoing and you can get this plugin for less by the way we will also be doing a giveaway and i'm gonna tell you more about that later in this video with that all being said let's see what this plugin is actually actually about. So by typing slash vouchers menu, you can see all the currently available vouchers. These are the three example vouchers that this plugin comes with. So we got a lucky voucher, we got a food package, and we got a lottery voucher. Now, how do these vouchers work? Well, the text here explains it all. So test your luck with the lucky voucher. The prizes given is three, so it will give three prizes. And these are all the prizes you can get. So it goes from very common all the way to legendary meaning that by using this voucher you will have a very big chance of getting oak locks and also a very reasonable chance to get coal but a very very slim chance to actually get a nether star now the food package here just gives you a set amount of items so gain a supply package full of food it contains apples steak carrots potatoes and bread so by using this voucher we will get all of that food and then here we got the lottery voucher so instead of three prizes like the lucky voucher we will only get one and the range is anywhere from 100 in-game money to 100,000 in-game money. So let's just left click and let's get them all and let's try them out. So let's first try the lucky voucher. We will get three prizes and it can be any of these things. So let's right click. Ooh. Okay, there we go. You saw a cool little firework. You heard a cool little sound. And you will get a message in chat of all the stuff you've received. So we got coal, iron ingots, and oak log. Here we go. So I now just got these materials, which I can now use on my Minecraft survival adventure. <laughs> Now, the next one is a food package. And this one just gives a predetermined set of items. So, when I click on it, boom, there we go. You saw the hearts, you heard the sound, and now I got all sorts of food. Now, every time I will use that voucher, I will get exactly this. So, in a way, it's kind of like a portable kit. As soon as you got the item, you can just get these items by right-clicking, which is really cool. And then, last but not least, we got the lottery voucher. You will get money. It ranges anywhere from 100 to 100,000. So, let's Let's right click and there we go 1k has been added to your account now of course the amount you will get is completely random so when I get a few more lottery tickets let's try this one there we go this time I got 100 this time I got 250 and this time I got 100 again. Now by using the command slash vouchers list, we can actually get a list of all the currently available vouchers. So we got the lucky one, the food one, and the lottery one. And when we type slash vouchers edit, we will actually be able to create a voucher of our own. So here we got the three example vouchers and over here is a button so you can add one for yourself. Now the very cool thing about this plugin is that you can edit pretty much everything in game. So you can create new vouchers in game, you can edit existing vouchers, in game you don't have to go to the config for pretty much anything let's go for example two so let's click on edit so over here you can see the id you can see the voucher name also what type of item it will be so in the lottery's case it is just a paper then should the item be enchanted yes or no so basically should it glow and then you can edit all sorts of things like the sounds the particles the effects how many rewards you will get when you open it and also what those rewards will be so let's click on sounds and when we do that, you will be able to specify a specific sound over here. Now, the current sound is an entity player level up. Now, I will leave a link in the description to this website. Over here, you will be able to find all the Minecraft sounds. Every single sound inside of Minecraft can be found inside of this list. This list is massive. It is incredibly big. And you can use any of these sounds with 
this plugin. So you can just click on the sound ID and replace it with whatever sound you want. Now, when we click on the option particles, you will be able to specify what type of particles should occur when the player uses the voucher. Now, there will be another link in the description that will take you to this page. And over here, you can find all the Minecraft particles. There are so many different particles. Wait, dolphin? Is there a dolphin particle? Oh, dolphin move particle. Got it. Okay. So all of these particles you can use with this plugin. Now, very good to know is that this left row will be for Java edition, which is the edition that this plugin is for. And everything here on the right is for Bedrock. So some particles, like for example, the conduit particles will not work on Java because they just don't exist. Anyway, just replace this particle ID with any particle ID you want to actually change the particles. Now, over here, you're also able to add an effect. So when you click on none, you will be able to actually set an effect. Now, from what what I understand there are only two effects that you can actually use right now, which is firework and lightning. So I will be going for firework, press enter, and there we go. Now we got the firework effect going on. Then the rewards per open, it's currently on one. If you want more, then you can just set it to, for example, five. Meaning that now I will get five lottery prizes. And then over here, we got the rewards. Now, this is actually very interesting to take a look at because it will give you a little bit more insight on how this lottery voucher actually works. So when you click on rewards, you will get a list with all the current rewards. We will also be able to add one of our own by just clicking here. Now, let's go and edit the first one. So we're going to click on edit. We got the reward name, which is $100. We got the icon, which is a sunflower. Then the icon quantity, which is only one. But then we got the reward weight. It is set to 250 and this basically the determines how rare a certain reward is. Then here in the last line we got the reward commands and when we click on edit here you can see the current command is echo give player name 100. So this is the placeholder you want to be using to specify a player name and this command will just give a player $100. Now remember the weight 250. Let's now go to reward three like you can see we got the reward it is one thousand dollars the icon is a golden nugget the quantity is also one but the weight is 125 so it is a lot more rare to get this one than the 100 dollar reward when we go all the way to reward six you can see the weight here is only one so the chance of actually getting this one with a weight of one instead of the item that has a weight of 250 is really really slim so if you want to make the chance of people actually winning this one higher then we can change the weight we can just simply click on here and then set the new weight to 100 there we go now this one is not that rare anymore. So when we now go back to the vouchers menu and here on lottery, we then right click, we can preview the voucher. The cool thing about the preview is that you can see what stuff you can actually get from this voucher. But it will also automatically calculate the chance you got to actually winning a certain reward. So the weight of the $100 is set to 250. And you can see that there's a 32.26% chance of winning this one. Now this this one has a 25% chance, this one has a 16% chance, 10%, 2%, so that, that's very, very slim. But then the next one, you can see 12% <laughs> because that is something that we actually change. So let's get a few of these vouchers and let's see if we can get the 100k reward. Okay, yeah, <laughs> I forgot about that. That's true. You will now actually get five rewards except for one. So here we go. We got five rewards and the 100k reward is one of them. The most rare one right now is the 10k. So let's see if I can get the 10k rewards. No, still not a lot of 1000s. No, another 100k and we got it. Hey, <laughs> the very last one, the 10k rewards. This one only had a 2% chance of happening. We will also be giving away three free copies of Vouchers Plus. If you want to have a chance of winning one of these free copies, the only thing you you will have to do is leave your spigot mc username in the comments so here we are on spigot mc and over there you can see your spigot mc username if you don't have a spigot mc account yet simply create one it's really easy now this giveaway will last three days meaning that if you're watching this video in the first three days after its release 
The giveaway is still ongoing and you should go to the comments and tell us you want to win and give us your spigot MC username. Now before ending this video, let's take a quick look at the config files. Inside of the plugins folder, there will be a folder called vouchers plus and inside of there you will find another folder called vouchers. Now over here you will see all the vouchers we've created. So to continue my example from earlier, let's take a look at example2.yml. So over here you will be able to change the name, the icon, if it is enchanted or not and then here we can change the lore. So basically the text that will appear when you hover over the icon. So instead of one it should now be five there we go then this over here is also a little bit awkward because the 10k reward is now more rare than the 100k rewards so let's just add a zero here and let's remove a zero from here there we go and now that i think about it this is not even right because i believe the 100k is less rare than the rare one now not sure about that but i think so <laughs> Then when we scroll further down, you will be able to change the sound, the particles, the effects. This is all stuff we've seen in game. And then over here, we got the rewards. Also, all stuff we've seen in game. But basically, you can just set a name here, set an item, amount, weight, command, and then a message. So this whole config is just extremely easy to understand. If you would want to make a voucher of your own, you could simply copy one of these files, rename them and start working from there. Or you can start working all the way from scratch whatever you prefer. Now, I will also leave a link to this website in the description. This is the documentation. And over here, you can pretty much see all important information. So if you want to know the permission notes, then you can just find them here. Look at that. If you want to have a clean overview of all the commands, then you can also find that. As well as all the information you need to know about creating your own voucher. Anyways, guys, that is going to be everything for now. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, do me sure to subscribe to my channel. You would really help me out by doing that. Make sure to check out Vouchers Plus. Link will be down below. And then I wish you an amazing day and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.